Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are invading Titan's Notch, which sounds appropriate for Slanesh, but I don't think is related to what you're thinking. Um, but anyway, we're going to do a battle. It'll be fun. We're fighting orcs. We haven't fought orcs in a while. What at all? Have we fought orcs in this campaign? Yes. Yes, we have. There were a bunch of them in Cafe, and now they're all dead. Anyway, let's go. Okay. So, what on earth is going on here? Are you guys just shy, or what? You don't have to be shy. No, it's okay. I know, I know. What do pups? Alright, you guys can hang out up here then. And <laughs> some aspiring champions that are going to be... They're going to spend the entire game just trying to catch up with these guys. But, I'm going to do it. They wanted to be over there. All right, I'm not going to knock it. And you know what? Same thing over here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna attack where we land, and they landed in weird places. And I'm gonna I'm gonna trust them. I'm gonna trust them to have gone the right way. What are you guys doing here? What? Okay, where? Uh, well, this is annoying. Okay, we're going up this way. We have to. We simply have to go up this way. We'll never get to them otherwise. Oh, you can... Loiter here, I guess. Okay, it looks like they're crossing this way, too. So that's okay. Uh, this is sort of perfect, actually. They're coming with the, the Snotling Pump Wagons first. And uh, we've got a bunch of Chaos Spawn that can just sort of body block them, which is great. Great news. Okay, they're going to get shot a little bit, which I'm not happy about. These guys definitely going to try and shoot us. You sure are. Uh, so he has no spells. And this guy only has fireball currently. It's not great. Okay, we should have that captured any minute. Nice. Okay, you can run that way. Uh... Long way around. Oh, you may as well just grab that then. Perfect. What a wiggly map this is. Uh, ooh hoo hoo. Hello there. Hello there, sailor. Yeah, try and just shoot the ground there. If you hold Alt, by the way, and right click, it shoots the ground. It just aims at where you point. Which can be a bit of a problem. Can be a bit of a problem. Might as well just charge in on his own. That's very weird. And wow, he's taking some damage already. Yeah, Tamar Kaimarax. Getting some good hits in there. Getting in some good hits. <laughs> These guys on their way. They have silver shields, so if the goblins are just going to try and shoot them, then that's kind of alright. Alright, I'm just going to aim for whoever. And I don't know if I'll be able to hit them, but they're moving around too much. Maybe aim for them, actually. We'll see. So he's getting dealt with. Uh, I'm glad they don't appear to have any spellcasters themselves. Because that would be kind of awkward. Uh, don't know where this guy's going. Who are you? Pump wagon. Alright. Uh, so he's having a bad day. So let's keep chasing him. Until you do a fireball, though I'm not sure if you will or not. So we should capture that pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, he's done it. He didn't hit him. Okay. Come on. Have him. I almost got him. Come on. Another little bop. Gotta keep, uh... Gotta keep changing her mind about attacking him, because just... Being on his heels doesn't seem to do the job. Okay, you guys grab that. Go for the next one, then. See what I mean? You can't just leave him to keep chasing. This should kill him. And... dead. Uh... That's weird. He wasn't full of teeth at all. He was full of blood. Can't have you lied to me. Alright, let's get these all counter boys. 
Okay, we're gonna deal with them, then we're gonna grab this. These guys already seem to be having just a terrible time. Oh, 120 kills from you. Nice. And yeah, leadership is very low. I think mostly as a result of the... Um, partly the artillery. They do not like artillery, but also we just killed their lord. So I think that helps a lot. Okay, yeah, this should work out quite well. Maybe we should just aim for the ground there, considering how dense it is. Okay. Let's get you up and around. And that should do it. God, this is ridiculous. So how are you doing now? 150 kills? It's quite good. You know, it'll, it'll do. So glad they have no spellcasters. Ooh, I could fascinate someone. Let's fascinate those biggins. Nice. <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, they've been dealt with. Now let's go grab this. Shame he can't really do anything from over there. What are you guys doing? Come on, let's get stuck in, yeah? And remember, this is... Oh, 225 kills. Using the enemy's rock lovers. Yeah. It's obscene. Absolutely obscene. Uh, also, I could do with you being in melee a bunch, actually. Because he'll unlock the chain lightning. And slaughter everyone as a result of it. It's going to be wild. Actually, let's have you go to that one and you can grab somebody else. Okay, hundreds of kills. You guys got shot at quite a bit. Probably by that tower, mostly. That's okay. Uh, where's the rock number? There it is. Alright, 260 kills. I mean, we are suffering damage in here. Okay, nasty skulkers. Using their smoke bombs. Okay, it looks like everything is breaking. Which is sort of a shame, actually. I was hoping to get the chain lightning on that blob. That would have been amazing. It could have also killed a bunch of our own guys, but that would have also been very funny, so I don't mind about that either. Oh, definitely when you go for the trolls. Definitely. Go kill those trolls. So 11 more seconds and we can hit these guys. So I don't think it's going to work, honestly. Uh, I'm also going to need to tell the rock mobbers to actually attack something because they're going to start hitting our own guys, which I think they might have done already, honestly. Okay, I've got my chain lightning. I think I need to wait for things to come back before I can really, you know do anything about that. Okay, fascination on those doggos. I think they're probably going to break soon. Like, I'm not sure they're going to return before everything else runs away. Although, maybe they will. Okay, yeah, maybe they will. Alright, Marauders of Sinesh. Let's block this way. And let's get the chain lightning going. We should be able to just nuke all of these guys. Okay, let's move you over here. That's right, I'm blocking the way with Marauders, because I don't care if they die. But yeah, that'll be really useful. Once they actually reach me, which will hopefully be soon. Okay, you guys are having a great time. Keep on moving. Uh, and more coming. You, you coming, lads? You coming? Alright, you start shooting the goblin archers. Okay, it doesn't look like these guys are coming very quickly. Come on. Come, 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 come. The battle will be over before I hit you otherwise. Oh, screw it. Let's go. So, 44 kills with the Summoners of Rage so far. Um... Well, got a few more kills. Did a lot of damage. Not a huge amount of actual kills, though. But I think we're probably fine. Can you keep chasing them? Uh, use narcissism on the goblin archers. Although, actually, those guys probably won't break just yet, will they? Oh, no, this is working. Yeah, there's army losses. There we go. 
A lot of dead orcs. Goblin. Uh, yeah, these goblins. Glad we seduced them. Almost 300 kills. Marvellous. Alright. Good stuff. So, uh, do, 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 do. Raise? Yeah, I don't think we need this, do we? No, it's just a crappy setting. Yeah, we don't need it. Kale Steed for, uh, Honorath. Good. Damn the orc fill. So we got a mission out of that, which is nice. And, oh! And Ardra's got the, uh, Gift of Snash. Perfect. Okay, Rampant Destroyer. Sounds nice. I do like it when he destroys things rampantly. Hmm. Demonhood. That's the next stage. At some point, we will get someone uh, raised to demonhood. Slave to your oh, gifts. leveled up a few times. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let's get him... Let's let's go Deadly Blade. A mighty boon. And for Onirath, let's start getting some spells. Uh, Kindle Flame and Burning Head. Good. Good. That would have been really useful in that last fight. Just, they were so blobbed up. Just one burning head in that clump would have done tens of thousands of damage. Although then the rock clobber wouldn't have had anything to do. That would have been a shame. Uh, so you guys are looking good. Oh, there's Kugath. Oh, look at him. He's doing a serpentine. That's what he's doing. Bobbing and weaving. So, Vilitras Kadoomborn. Uh, magical reserves. Good. Right, let's get this one. We'll give it to the Argol. Oh, it already got knackered. Brilliant. I can actually subjugate. Who would I be subject? Oh, I'd be subjugating the corn demons. Nah, screw it. Colonel Sons are dead. The Argol are rising. And let's go take Karak Dun. Well, by taking him, we can give it to the Argol. Um. Sunken Sewers is here, if I recall. Or is it down here? No, it's not. It's up here. I I don't know. We'll find it, okay? We'll find it. Alright, so Villatrask is done. Azazel is done. Tamar is done. Everybody's done. Okay, Ulrich has leveled up to level 20. Means he's immortal. Marvellous. Good job, lad. Good job. Oh, I'm proud of that, boys. Alright, Deadly Blade. So they can make me even more proud by murdering my enemies. Uh, yeah, this we can just auto-resolve. Not a problem. Gift it to our vassal. Just basically no damage. It's wonderful. Uh, so, let's have a look. There's Okay, that's Darko Wharf. So yeah, Sunken Sewers, I think, is up here. I think. Uh, oh, and that's the whole place taken down. Brilliant. Let's go with Sanesh Corruption, because currently it's all stinky. It's all full of Nurgle Corruption. That won't do. So yeah, actually, wait, that's Glutport Sunken Sewers is up here. And there's Darko Wharf down there, which is very annoying when you're coming at it from this angle, because we sort of have to go to Stormrack Mountain, then back down here, then up to Cross, which is, you know, it's a pain. But that's fine. It's not like time really matters. We can go through as many turns as we like. We're absolutely crushing it. So, uh, the sigil on this banner is old and hurts the eyes to gaze upon it. Ooh. Yeah, I noticed we had taken that. Shrine of the Alchemist. Of damnation. <laughs> we have more characters hanging around. Oh, we're going to raise that. We get one soul out of it. Brilliant. Uh, maybe we should have just taken it and given it away, but... I kind of want my vassals to work for their territory. I don't have to give them everything, you know. Don't want to spoil them. I took the money. I think I think we're probably fine with that garrison already. It's not a bad garrison. Chaos Warriors are very good in the garrison. They're just so hard to kill. It means the towers can just sit and murder stuff all day, which is rather nice. Uh, building upgrades available over here, huh? I'm on tier five now. We can do the Chaos Knights one or the Giants one. Or the extra income from all buildings in Allied or Vassal Regions one. That's actually not a bad idea. It's actually not a bad idea considering that, like, you know, these guys have probably been building up for quite some time, right? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that is wise. 
It might not make much of a dent. We still never got the garrison building. I'm getting the garrison building, okay? I feel weird not having it. Even though we've got a bunch of Chosen in this army and Chaos Chariots. That can hold out for years. But that's besides the point. Hang on a minute. What are you doing here? Cheeky git. Alright, well he's probably going to take that. That's annoying. And I don't have anyone in the area. I mean, I sort of do. I sort of have Tamar. Is he going to head down this way? Kind of want to destroy Sky Mountain first. If he takes that over, I'll come back. But it means Sky Mountain will be destroyed and I can go down the next, you know, thread of the Mountains of Morn and finish this faction off. Okay, you're looking good, you're looking good. Today's are looking good. Everyone's looking good. Hey, Gorfang. Gorfang, Gorfang, Gorfang. Peric victory for auto resolve. I wouldn't have wanted to have bothered fighting this anyway, because I thought it'd be a lost cause, so that's sort of ridiculous. I guess I'll just take it. Saves me the hassle. I'll take the win. Alright, they all died. Recruit a lord. I'm... Ooh, you know what? I was going to say, that sounds stupid, but actually, that's quite good. Also, vassal tribute is 3,400, so yeah, hadn't, hadn't calculated that yet. But that's amazing. We're getting some good income now. From our vassals. I mean, our vassals have a vast empire, thanks to us, but still. It's nice that we get credit for it. Uh, Kugath is now up here, being a pain. I think we're just going to destroy his empire while he's not home. If he's just going to sort of sit there, like a... Like a big toady lump. Okay, so, uh, Epi Epidemoalgius. Epidemoalgius, great name once you get it right. Uh, yeah, we can just take that, that's fine. Yep. Give that to the vassals. Just cleaning up this neighborhood. That's what we're doing. Alright. Little Trasker Doomborn has another level up. Uh, transportation of lead might be fun. Plague of Rust. Could level that up. Or we could start getting something a bit more, uh, you know, army focused. It's not a bad idea. I mean, what do we have in this army, really? So, it's it's Chaos Spawn that we're going to have a few of in here eventually, right? Although I am really enjoying just the huge, like, the huge amount of Forsaken. Uh, the Chaos Giant, we could, we could give something to. So, all non-demonic war beasts, monstrous, and monster units, I guess would do it. Although we could also do... Uh, all demonic non-flying melee units. Get out a charge bonus and armor. I don't think we necessarily need that for fiends, actually. I don't think we need to worry about that, so screw it. Let's go with extra weapon strength for all our monsters. So there we go. 624 damage per swing now. And Morkar. Let's give you... Missile resistance. Apparently this is also the missile resistance episode. This is the Missile Resistance series. Okay, everyone's done. Oh, you're not done. You can go take uh, the Sky Monolith. And... I will lose some doggos if I auto-resolve, but I also can't be bothered to fight this battle, because it's going to be just a bit pointless. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and take that. That's okay. Now, let's level you up. Uh, let's go with Burning Head again. Yes, it is excellent, that's what I thought. Uh, Onerath can now be devoted to Lord of Sanesh. I kind of want him to remain a firecaster, though. I want fire magic, which is what makes this a bit awkward, that you can't devote him to Sanesh and keep his original magic. It's sad, but we'll keep him. Uh, I like him. I like him how he is. And also, I'll give him a sword of striking, because that'll be fun. So we will get a manticore eventually, so he will be quite good. He will be quite good in melee. Uh, I need to turn the camera back around. There we go. Uh, yes, the other boon as well. Uh, brutality comes easily to this one. The rush of the kill is a powerful addiction indeed. Sure is. So he's starting to suffer a bit of damage. We may need to get some replenishment. Um, although I think we're just going to head back down here. We Yeti Peak. Oh, they've got all these as well. Okay, I was going to say. I, I don't want to leave 
stragglers if I'm headed this way, but no, that's the very edge of their kingdom. Um, is Kalik Vlag going to head towards? Yeah, we'll see. Right, Party Glory. Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, although, that is one thing that's very nice, is you can turn off the notifications. If you're like, no, I don't want to devote it. And it just won't bother you about it. Which I think is really nice. I think that's really elegant. It's very well placed. Good, good UI just to go, oh, you know that thing? Yeah, you can address it where that thing takes you. So, you don't have to go searching for these, uh, you know, searching for any buttons or just get pestered forever. You can just turn it off. And I really like that. Corrupted offerings. Souls are sent to Sir Nesh alongside idols of corruption, allowing his influence to seep into the mortal plane. Hmm, lovely. So, that is going to be handy for getting that corruption spread. More loot heaps, please. I love my loot to be in a heap. Best way to do it. Uh, Taitsu is now... Can't think of a pun. It's it's all dead, isn't it? There we go. Wordplay. Uh, Azazel, my boy. My beautiful, bouncing baby boy. Let's get you... Uh, freakish mutations. Helps all the monster stuff. We got some monster stuff. See? Monster stuff. That sounds quite useful. War beasts, too. Hello, cavalry, chariots, and flying units. And missile resistance as well. That'll help our uh, manticore. By Which I'm gonna help. Prince. Gotta help Manny. Gotta help Manny. It's on 59 melee attack now. Hang on, did we get the other spice mine built? We did. I don't think this stacks. I don't think it does. I think that only went up because he got a bit more. Uh, he got another chevron, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. Wait, it was on 54. I don't know. No, I think it's on like 57, right? I don't know. Either way, whatever. Manny is great. We have loads of spice mines and. It's all good. Damnation. Everything's going great. And apparently, we have something new. Do we have anything new here? Uh, we have the Marauder thingy. Can't wait to be able to unlock Shaggers. That'll be nice. I should probably swap these around a bit. Like, just getting another uh, Hell Cannon for the sake of it would be lovely. So that's Crown of Kings. What's that do? Crown of Kings. Like, it doesn't say the name here. It makes no sense. There's no way of knowing which one of these things is one of these things. Like, I really wish they'd tie that on. Also, wink. Brilliant. Wink. Love it. They're silly. Uh, right, so Crown of Kings is this one. Extra experience. Faction leader grants experience to other lords. Our other lords are doing pretty damn well right now, so I don't think that's necessary. Um, I don't think we necessarily need that. I'll probably give it back to him soon, but I want to add that to the pool, and it also means I spent another 1500, which means I'll start unlocking other things a little bit quicker, uh, which is nice. The more you swap around, the quicker these go up. In fact, we're about, I think, two more turns and we unlock the top things, which means we can start getting Keepers of Secrets and Soul Grinders in our armies. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, Chaos War Shrine of Slanesh. Didn't we have that one going? Oh, no, I was going to do it. But, wait, hang on. No, I did have it, and then I stopped. Okay, we did unlock that. No, I'm being an idiot. Yeah, we did that last episode. I'm sorry, it's... It's, it's been a little while. I had a bit of a break. So, stop it. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh... I don't know, do I just want to keep heading this way, keep collecting souls? I mean, I feel like I'm just in the mountains of Morn because some enemies were in here, but... I don't really feel like I'm achieving anything in here. I can't give these to my vassals or do anything interesting with them. So yeah, I think I'll get Ta uh, Tamar back over here. Fighting ogres just a bit boring. Nothing going on over there. I do dare. Also, we just found Valkyr. Are we going to take on Valkyr? I think we are. I think that's what we're going to do. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. But first we'll wipe out Kuga. Uh So we're going to give that to a vassal. Good. Because remember, I did decide that while we are collecting a billion souls and we will just do the final mission to win this campaign, I am going to treat it as though we are in a race with these others and um, like we're trying to get the domination victory. Let's get Hearts of Iron. I don't want our forsaken tiring out, even though they all have perfect vigor, don't they? Yes, they do. But 
I'm ignoring that. I want them all to make sure they don't get tired. Uh, let's get... A devastating charge. The slaughter begins. <laughs> Thanks to your devastating charge. All right, glut port next. Uh, I gotta say, the Argyll tribe is having a just a cracking few turns. They didn't exist a minute ago. Now, how much money are you giving me? Is there a way I can find out? Both. It says they're a vassal of mine. How much money are you giving me, mate? 256. That's not very much. Is that before or after it has doubled? I actually have no idea. I don't know if that's the base amount or if that's the adjusted amount. Either way, um, they'll start paying me more later. Like, all of these are new. Most of them are still ruins. Most of them have the plague. It's, it's fine. Alright, let's get... More money! Well, favour. Also, do we have a bunch of settlements that could be upgraded now? That's a tier 5 already. Nangao can't be upgraded yet. Shanyang can't be upgraded yet. You know, growth is taking a while, actually. It is taking a little while. Captain of the That's okay. League. So you can head over here to the City of Monkeys. Everybody's monkeying around. Ain't nobody's city. It really is more of a town. Okay, let's get... I don't know, what should we get here? There are a few things I wanted, like this vassal money-making thing, because I, I don't think we really need access to, like, chaos stables and stuff, although we do have a portal there. So if I was to recruit anywhere, it would be here. So actually, being able to get chaos um, knights straight out the gate would be sort of brilliant, actually. So yeah, maybe that's fine. Uh, also, none of these guys know what to do. They just none of them have any idea. Because they can't come and attack Cathay because they belong to me now. So we sort of broke that system for these guys. Um, but that's fine, they can loiter. Uh, yeah, you keep saying building upgrade available, but not the one I want. Ooh, some fun items. Very fun looking items. Yeah, I mean, 10k would be lovely, but no, the items are just so much more fun. So your actions have drawn the attention of Slanesh, the Dark Prince of Chaos. The power of his sensations can bring euphoria or despair, should they be used unwisely. Ensure your champions remain loyal and bequeath them with the Dark Prince's blessing. So this gets us three abilities that I have no idea what they are, but this is a rare piece of talisman. So um, I was going to uh, say a rare piece of armor, but it's not armor. To have the strength of a raging demon is to slay in one swipe. So demonic strength, dark fortune, and regenerating flesh. I think I know who we're giving that to. Armor of Destiny also gives a ward save, physical resistant armor, and then this armor piece. Actually the same stuff, is just um, a slightly worse version. But yeah, that's wild. I love it. Now let's, um... Uh, 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 we're way down here. Whee! Where is he? Here you go, buddy. So you... Uh, Talisman Dawnstone. Oh, wait, Enchanted Item. You don't even have one. Um, yeah, there we go. Boom. So what do these even do? I have no idea. What have you got now? What are your abilities? So Dark Fortune. Uh, he can get a 20% damage resistance. One time. But that's pretty awesome. It lasts for a minute. <laughs> wow. Uh, Regenerating Flesh. He regenerates. Oh, you can use it once. Okay. So again, you can you can regenerate for 30 seconds. And Demonic Strength gives him plus 50% base and armor-piercing weapon damage once per battle for 20 seconds. That's all brilliant, though. There's some really good bonuses. I wonder how much damage we can make him do. I also wonder if he actually has enough... Um, if he ha he'll have enough slots for all of the buttons he can now press. I have no idea. Not a clue. Now, let's see... Uh, Armor of Destiny. Marvellous. Uh, now, Ancillaries. Eh, nothing huge. Uh, the Lichbone Pendant, I'm probably going to put on himself, so he has some spell resistance. Uh, although the Scarecrow Band is good for him, actually, lowering leadership of people he's fighting, because he's probably going to be dueling people in the sky, and I kind of need him to be able to break the enemy. So to have the strength of a raging demon. Love it. Armor Destiny is worn by a great hero among every generation. You're a hero, Villatresca. Yeah, you are. Armor of Fortune is also there. Morkar. 
Deadly Blade. Deadly Blade. My prayers are answered. He loves, he loves having a Deadly Blade. He'd been praying for a Deadly Blade. Uh, so Kugath is nearby. I feel like it'd be funny just to wipe out his entire faction before he could reach us. Um, that just, that just does it for me. You know, make him watch. Let's uh, attack this guy. It's going to drag out all of these people. Ooh, hello. I serve only the dragons. Are the characters kicking around? Oh, wow. Even with the backup of the garrison and everything, they didn't want to fight that. That's impressive. I guess we're doing a siege battle then. With... No, come on. That one person is coming as reinforcements. I say one person. It's a Shogun, so, you know. That dragon blood does make him awfully powerful. Uh, I don't think that matters much. The crane guns. I don't think that really helps him a whole lot. Any Sky Lantern might be fun. I don't think we need to seduce any of this stuff, you know? I think I might just charge in and start murdering. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way we're going to play this. Alright. Murder time, commence. Okay, so... Don't know what I was expecting. I mean, obviously that wasn't going to make him any more <laughs> condensed, I guess. Is that the word? Probably not. Alright, you guys are going to push through that spot. I just realised that last uh, battle we did, I ordered all my knights to go break down uh, that gate that I never moved them in. Because I was able just to wrap up everything with, with what was here. So you know what? You guys can go through the walls too. Screw it. And you. You guys are all going through that one gate. And, and you. You're all going through that one gate. And you. No. You guys are. You have Sonic Boom. Uh, and then you lot are going to go uh, scale the walls. That'll do. I know they have to walk around. Uh, Alright. I'll, I'll actually move them because I can do that. It doesn't actually take any more time. Not really. So, you guys go for the gate. Go for the walls. Go for the kill. Alright, start, start buffing. Uh, those are just peasant archers. Probably not worth shooting. But I want them dead. Because archers are a pain. Okay, go get them. And, uh, hang on a minute. <gasps> he doesn't have Sonic Boom anymore! Neither does this guy! Because we changed our gift. That's really sad. No more Sonic Boom. What will Tails think? That's right, I went there. Uh, you. Start whipping him. Good. Proud of you. You did good. Now, do I want to attack them? Yeah, I think I do. Alright, Manny will be fine. He probably won't be fine. You know what? You go get him. And we're in. And you are probably in need. Oh, oh no, don't tell me that happened again. No, I hate this bug. He's stuck there forever now. And what might happen is he might suddenly decide to move slightly and the wall will decide that he'll be just eaten. It's just going to be gobbled up. You know, by fate or something, I don't know. No, don't swivel. So yeah, Azazel lives here now. Just just hope that nothing makes him shift, because it can just immediately kill him. Alright, that is genuinely something that could happen. It's really rare, but it seems just flying lords on... Oh wait, did he... No, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. Oh, my word. Fascination. Big old whip. Alright, Manny's in here too. That's just grim. Oh, please don't explode. Alright, what are you doing now? I don't know what he is doing. What is he doing? Can I shoot over here? Let me shoot these guys. That seems wise. Seems wise. Is it wise? Seems wise. Boom. Not bad. But he's doing okay, alright? He's doing okay. 
He's doing fine. He's doing fine, okay? Azazel's doing fine. Everyone stop worrying about him. Okay, look, he can heal as well. It'd be great. Come on, move, move, move. Can you move? Can you... He can't move. No, he just sometimes pops up into the sky for a second. He loves it in the sky. Ah, hell cannon coming in. Getting some work done. Okay, let's buff you. Man, he can go for those jade warriors. <laughs> oh, I hate him being bad. So nerve wracking. Okay, Penumbral Pendulum. Let's crack these Jade Warriors open. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Half the health gone. I like it. You know, I'll take it. Um, that's just peasants. Don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, I'm going to pit Shades. I, just, I think pit Shades are cool. Alright, see if you guys can't back up. You might not be able to. Nah, you're not able to. Wow. It's just a Lord Magistrate, guys. They're not that good. Famously terrible, actually. No one likes them. Where does Azel go? Oh! Oh, he's up here. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you alright there, mate? You alright? Okay, cool. I like, I like your new look. It suits you. I told you he loves being in the sky. Loves it. He just he just loves it. Alright, go fight that sky lantern, Manny. Alright, and deal with them too. And yeah, you need to actually walk forward to hit these guys. And stop them moving. It's true. I love now this is this is a touch. You rarely hear it, but when you do it, it really shows the care and attention they put to this game. Your units will shout as Aza loves us. They actually respond to the lord that you have in your army at the time. How cool is that? The answer to that is very cool. It's very, very cool. And so is Azazel. He's a cool boy. He's just <laughs> he just has some problems. Okay, don't worry about it. He just he's got he's got some problems. Ooh, ooh, does that mean we can have hell cannon shots coming in soon, huh? Huh? Well Yeah, I can't hear you, you have to speak up. You're gonna have to speak up, ladies. Have you shot yet? You say you're shooting, but I'm just not seeing any evidence of that. Oh, Zazel's landed again. Secret chariots are very, very hurt. Ooh. Oh, that was not great. Uh, surprising how well these Jade Lancers are holding out against all this, actually. Uh, you stop shooting. Why did you stop shooting at them? I can tell you to shoot over here. I can read someone. Take that. How dare you come! Too close to Azazel, Lord of Wool. God of Wool. You've all played the hit PlayStation game, God of Wool, right? I'm sure you have, it's very popular. I love how you can see Pit of Shades kick it off halfway across the map. It's amazing. Let's do a pendulum as well. Let's just punt these people into the pit. Nice. And you can hurt yourself. This is mad. Look at all this. There's at least so much going on over here. And what is he doing? Oh no, they took the walls. Oh, that sucks. Okay, what can I do? I'm not sure anything. Yeah, them taking the gates like that is a pain, and Azazel's really not a big help, but he's in the sky like that. Oh well. Alright, oh, you go get those peasant archers. Busy. This should probably be army losses. Maybe the... Nope, Hellcannon's dead. Hellcannon's dead. Well, that's fine. I have others. Close victory. Alright. 
So yeah, lost a hell cannon. It was very good. It's rank eight. Ah well, whatever. Let's raise that. Uh, we got the festering shroud. Uh, missile resist aura. And extra five missile resist for all units in the army. That's pretty great, actually. Uh, hey, mate, do you want a festering shroud? It'll be great. Wow, and he even had a slot for it. Perfect. Thanks, mate. Uh, also, have the armor of fortune. That's not very good. Good. And also, have a level up. I'm such a generous master, giving them all these toys. This putrid, rotting standard constantly seeps with a horrendous gruel of pus and mucus, helping to defect, uh, deflect incoming attacks from range. So, kind of like... Chaos Loop? I'm going to go with that. It's more on-brand. Sounds too, uh, potentially too nurgly for my liking. Uh, death and destruction worship at their feet. Kidnapper. Oh no. Stealing objects is good for business. Stealing people is more lucrative still. Sure is. Captain okay, Azazel. Let's get him. Uh, I can go hysterical frenzy. The fact is, if we get arcane conduit on him, which we can reach, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can. Could be one, four, five. And we have uh, seven more skill points incoming. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, we do. Max out 50. So, yeah, no, that'd be great. Be able to get Arcane Conduit. Just so much magic. Shame we can't get any of this stuff, though. Dark Seducer would have been really nice. For that extra 5% movement, 10% souls, 10% income, and an extra corruption. But honestly, I don't think we really need any of this stuff. I feel I feel like we've got, Delicious. got the right skills for the jobs at hand. Uh, now... I don't quite know what to do with him. Uh, you guys need to level up one more time each. I nice. We've almost got a, a full complement of Chosen, which is real good. Love that. Big fan of that. Again, Tamar, uh, you have to be in friendly territory. I want to give him that uh, uh, thingy, what's it? What are you called? The thing. You know, the thing. The thing that I don't like, but actually the one for Solaris is quite good. Chaos War Shrine. That's the one. I want to give him the Chaos War Shrine. But yeah, Azazel, I think we can give him another Hell Cannon. Uh, I will probably... Uh, I will probably... Now that I've done that, I'm going to go to Shanyang. Then I'm going to go to uh, Zenwu. Okay, I'm going to go that way, because I want to get into this territory, replace that Hell Cannon, and then I actually... I know this seems a bit, um, it's not a direct upgrade, but thematically, I think it is. We are going to, through the Gifts of Slanesh, turn these Chaos Warhounds into Fiends of Slanesh. That's right, we're going to make the dogs sexy. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make them weirdly sexy, like crab sexy, alright? We're going to make the doggos crab sexy. By that I mean we're going to disband these two and hire some Fiends of Slanesh, but... We're going to pretend it's still the Doggos, because they've been a great part of our army for a very long time. I mean, they're Chaos Warhounds on rank 7, which is unheard of. So we're going to reward them by making them crab sexy. Okay? That's what we're going to do. But we're going to do that next episode. Hooray! I never hey, buddy. Foot wrong. Okay, I mean, I wasn't coming here to judge you, but... Sounds like he protests too much. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.